Check. Can you hear me good? Testicles one, two, three. just pouring in the night. I'm drinking toilet water tonight. Where's the... Where's the... I'm not really testing anything tonight. Well, not yet anyway. Uh, basically just, just popped on to see if anybody had any questions or they need to be, uh, needed anything, need to walk through anything. You know what? It looks clear. No, it's blue. Look. Oh yeah, it does kind of look clear on there, doesn't it? Isn't that funny? I wonder if that's the... No, I don't have the green screen on that one, do I? I wonder if that's the green screen fucking with it. Well, now I gotta go to the mixer cam, because that's the only one that doesn't have a... Mixer cam. Yeah, it looks blue there. Right? Did we get a chance to work on any layouts for you? Um, no. Just chatting. Where's uh, hubby at tonight, Alley Cat? What? Hello, Ray Ray. Welcome in. I know I should have the camera facing the other way because I'm looking this way more, but that's the only place I can set it for now without it falling down. I need to get a little, um, another little sturdy tripod just to have over here when I do the just chatting streams, but DJ Saber, guess what? I hit record tonight. Do you know what that means? It means I'm not going to have any fucking information tonight. It's going to be a horrible fucking shit show. And not in the tr traditional sense of our shit shows. <laughs> um, Actually, so I have a question for you guys. You guys said you had issue with um, not getting your commands to work in StreamerBot. I 
I don't know how to zoom the screen. I see people like in just chatting and they're just like zooming in the shit. So let's uh wait, let's let's full screen streamer bot. Let's uh go over here and unlock this uh I'm gonna move chat over here for a little bit. I think I sent hubby the link for uh or um, chat bubbles. I believe so. Let me try to grab this and expand it a little bit. Because so people can kind of see a little bit better. Can you all see that a little bit better now? So you have part of your commands to work. But ones that have to reach out to the internet, you don't know you don't know how the right code. Like so give me an example of which one that's not working. Oh, weather. Yeah, so you're probably using the same thing that I was using uh for the weather, which is a, I think it's a little it's a web address that reaches out to like a I think it's like an API or something. Um I personally haven't figured out how to do that in streamer bot but i know you can so what i would do in the meantime is if you had it on uh stream elements or stream labs just continue to keep it in there as you noticed in my chat i do have streamer bot doing most of the work but every once in a while you see stream elements do something that's because i haven't one figured it out or two i'm too lazy to research it why don't we figure it out together Uh, or shout outs, putting the streamers link in that command. Okay. So I'll go to my, so yeah, the weather one, just if you got weather ones, or, uh, I think I got like cat facts, uh, dad jokes, the dog facts, those ones there, they call out to some other API that I don't know how to do it in streamer bot. But when I do, I'll let you know. So what, anyway, so what we're going to do is the, um, yeah, see right there, dad jokes is still still going to stream elements. I'm just going to leave that there for now. And they don't get used a lot anyway. Uh, let's see here. Let's make this nice and big. Um, how do you link stream elements to streamer bot? Um, there is a link in there. That you can do stream elements, I think, maybe. It's been so long, right? Settings. Yeah. Which accounts? Stream elements. Oh, you got your chat bubbles set up. Awesome. Awesome. Is yeah, there is a spot in there where you can do it. Oh, right there. Settings. Yeah. So I don't know if you can see that there. So if you go to settings and then you go to stream elements and then there's events and settings. That's how you can do it. Some of this stuff I'm going to explain. It's going to look like it's my first time walking through. That's because my memory is so bad. I set up so much shit and then once I set it, I forget it. And then sometimes I got to go back and... and have a look again and go, oh yeah, that's how I did that. Uh, yeah, so anyways, that connects to your stream elements account. That's what I'm old. Yeah. We get a mod to ban Mrs. 506. Thanks. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go back to what Ali said, which was uh, shout outs, putting the streamers link in the command. Okay. So let's go down to my, I think I got it under 
Where do I have that at? Gender shoutout group. In a bit. Hold on here. Hello, decade. Um, sure. Sure. Trying to find my shout out commands. I don't know where the fuck is that. Text command. Oh, right there. ASO, maybe? No, that's the other one. Fuck, I don't even remember where I have it. Isn't that horrible? No, that's for the voice commands, but just the general shout outs. Like when I do, I don't even know if my just a regular shout out is uh, is working or not. Let's see. Oh, my shout out still goes to uh, my regular shout out still goes to stream elements. But then my awesome shout out. Okay, so yeah, I don't, oddly enough, I don't have shout out set up because I'm always using awesome shout outs. Shows you how much I pay attention to my own stream. Who's buying the house across the street? Hmm? 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 Who's buying it? Uh, four sixty five. Yeah, so awesome shout outs. Let's I can. So if you awesome shout out, awesome shout out. Let me go find there is a video with a link for the awesome shout out. I don't know if I can give you my streamer elements link or not. I think it, that might be tied right to mine, but um. Oops, I, uh, awesome shout out stream element. What version are we on there? Because that one seems like that might be old. Yeah, there's a there's a new version. So let's see if we can find that. There's like a 1.5 or something now. Da -da -da -da. I don't know if these link links would be updated or not. Let's go to this guy here. Sorry if that gets loud. One click installer right there. Let's see what that does. Oh, 
about that here. That it installs the newest one. All right. Let me go back to there. Copy link. I don't know if I put this in the chat or not, but if it'll work or if it comes up broken. Now let's see what that does. I'm going to have so many versions of this awesome shout out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if you click that link in the chat, if you have a stream elements account, if you do, it should open up and um, should give you awesome shout out. And then you can configure it. I don't have regular shout outs set up in my streamer box because I think I just stopped using them. I can't start over because you know why? You didn't miss anything. I've been stumbling around like a like a fucking drunk. <laughs> Hello, Michelle Hooper. We're in uh we're in techie mode tonight. We're just we're trying to break shit. Uh streamer bot's pretty easy. Um I'll give you the link here. So yeah, it's pretty easy. It's streamer uh dot bot. And uh, let's see here, yeah, click on that, then you'll get the oh, you get the thing to uh, open it. Why is that not me? You know, son of a bitch. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, you'll just get that, unzip it. It will probably tell you that it's uh something that will damage your computer it won't it's just i don't think it's been officially signed off or whatever they do it by windows so um and then once you open it pretty easy go over to uh your settings put in your twitch account right there uh, Twitch speaker, I think that allows you to, I think what it does is it anything that people type in chat, it will turn it from text to speech. So you said, what's Twitch speaker? Then you'd hear DJ decade said, what's Twitch speaker? Like, I, I think that would be fucking annoying and make me want to punch a kitten in the face. Anyway. Yeah. Once you get streamer bot, um, Put in your broadcaster account. That's your your main account, and then you can go to Twitch and set up another account if you want to have a bot. Uh, so as in mine, you see <laughs> cousin five oh six. That's the other account because I don't want it coming up that I'm saying all this stuff. It's I want my bot to say it. So you you hook that up. And if you got stream elements, you do that. And the other thing you got to have, and I think most of us have now, is um, OBS. Uh, WebSocket. So, um, and that's how StreamerBot will hook into OBS via the WebSocket. Um, yeah. And then there's the voice control. I like the voice control. That's always fun. Uh, you can't you can't rename stream elements or stream labs bot so like I said what I would do is go in and make another twitch account uh, and call it whatever you want to call your bot and then connect that account right here as you can see my like I said mine's cousin 506 and then that will be your bot that's streamer bot 
Yeah, so all my commands. So what you got to do, as you can see all this list here, is um, you have to make an action first before you can do anything. So I'm going to close all these so <coughs> it's not super overwhelming. Um, so let, let's say, um, for example, like a channel point redemption. Actually, no, let's not start there. Let's start with a text message. That's pretty easy. Um, so I have, let's say, uh, cutscene list. I want people to know what my cutscenes are. So I did a right click. Oh, you guys can't even see that. I got to go up further because it's Windows. Way out of, uh, way out of whack here. Try that a little bit. You're not using streamer bot. Oh yeah, then um, there is a way to rename the stream elements bot, but I think you have to download a plugin called OBS Live or something and hook it to stream elements. And I tried doing it before and it didn't work, and I it, it was more fucking annoying than anything, so I didn't bother. Um, anyway, so back to this so yeah right click add i'm gonna shrink this window a little bit because you guys can't see right there yeah so add so you got to name your action so um i'm gonna do this uh i'm gonna call hello chat that's the name of my action uh the group you just put it in one of the groups that you got. So if the, if it's blank your first time, you just type in, I call that in, in text messages. So as soon as you name it there, then it's going to be there always. So that's a text message. You can put it in a queue. You can create a queue so all your actions are not on top of each other when people are firing them off. Uh, we'll leave it in default for now. Right there. So now you can see on here. And now you can see the new action that we made and it's called hello chat. So once you click on that, then you go over to the sub action window right here. And now you have to right click. Oh, I'm on the wrong window. <laughs> you have to add the action that you want it to do. So when you do that, there's a whole pile of things that come up. So I go down to Twitch which you guys can't see because my camera's in the way. So let me uh, here, right click, add action, go down to Twitch and then send message to channel. You guys can't see that camera's in the way, but anyway, then this window will pop up and then you tell it which account is going to send the message, um, bot or broadcaster. So I always choose bot. Then you put the message in there. So this particular one, I want to say, uh, hello, chat. How are you? There, that sub action has now been created right there. So from there, you go over to commands. And in there, you right click and add what command in the chat is going to trigger it. So right here, and I'll do exclamation point, H-E-L-L, -L, hello. Uh, and then you have to tell it what group it's in. So again, text commands. Then you have to point it to the action that you just made. So I have to go down and find, uh, it's probably right there. Hello chat, select. Then you can select who you want to be able to trigger it. If you just leave everything here, it means, that means anybody can trigger it. <laughs> and then you hit okay. So now if you go to the chat and I do exclamation point hello, it should bring up that message. There you go. Hello, chat. How are you? And it brought up some other messages because it's just the way that it was timed. But 
So if you guys want to try that exclamation point, hello. Yeah, see, so you can pretty much get it to do whatever you want. You can get it to trigger scenes. You can get it. So, but basically everything has to be done. Yeah. No way too many monitors here. Form. Screen. There we go. Yeah. So everything in StreamerBot has to have an action. And that's where you create it in this panel. Once you create the name of the action, you go to the other panel. But what about custom commands like I have in stream elements? Like, so what custom command are you talking about? Like, the only thing I can't get at the trigger is like the weather or dad jokes or stuff like that. I mean, you probably can do it. I just, I haven't done it. But pretty much anything you got, uh, I'm going to delete this one here. This is all. Lead. but all my stuff's here like i got um there's my jam text uh, if somebody likes my sideways chat there's a link for that um my command list so i made that there and then the sub action is a list of all my all my stuff I'm going to um, print this scam here. Yoink, nobody needs to see me. The chat bubbles, I'll show you the chat bubbles, <coughs> is something new that I found in, let's see here, history. Do I not have history? What the fuck? Oh, right here. Copy link. That link is for the chat bubbles. Um, and there's this video here actually to show you how to, to um, put that actually here too. This video will show you how to configure it. Um, it has a link in description. Once you click, link. Once you click the link, it will automatically open up your stream elements, and it will be right in your um, right in your overlays, as you can see right there. I got it in mine. How do you attach visuals and sound effects to channel points in Streamlabs or Stream Elements? So your channel points are run by um, Twitch. And you create them in Twitch and whatever. But once you get in the streamer bot, we suggest that you make them in streamer bot. Um, and any ones that are made in streamer bot will be listed here. Uh, and any ones that were made in Twitch will be highlighted blue. So StreamerBot sees them, but you can't edit them in StreamerBot. If so, if you made a channel point redemption on Twitch, you can't edit it in StreamerBot. So that's why we suggest you make them all in StreamerBot. That way you can edit them. You don't have to open up the Twitch page and, and whatnot. Um, again, with channel point redemptions, uh, it's super easy. So, for example, we'll go to one of my cutscenes here. So, again, first you have to make the action. So, let's say this one here is called uh, You're Not Using StreamerBot. So, if you're not, then you would have you have to use something if you want to attach a channel point redemption to, like, a visual or a sound. Um other than that, Twitch, Twitch's channel points only allow you to do stuff that's like 
hydrate or do jumping jacks. And then you have to be aware of somebody when somebody hits that, right? Like if they say, Allie's going to do 10 jumping jacks, you're going to be like, oh, somebody redeemed, you know, jumping jacks and, you know, whatever. Or if you wanted to have a channel point attached to a cutscene like I have, uh, and you don't use any third party software, you're going to have to go, oh, Mike just redeemed uh, 88 miles per hour. And then you'll have to physically go and switch it to that scene. It doesn't, it won't automatically do it. So that's why I suggest using StreamerBot because uh, even if you don't use it to its full potential, there's certain things that are, you can do that make it automatic. Yeah. So if you want, so if you want it auto, um, I would suggest even using StreamerBot for sure. Yeah. Uh, go over to this one here for a second. Yoink. Yeah, so this is a shot of my um, OBS. Is that because I have to be at our streaming computer to modify the game scene? So for those that do want to do... Um, like a cutscene and have it tied to uh, channel point redemption. I'll quickly walk you through that. So the first thing you got to do, as you can see, here's how I name all my scenes. Um, Cause I think it looks cleaner in OBS. Um, where am I at here? No, that's not what I want. Come down. There I am. <laughs> okay. I'll show you guys how I do it. Um, this is how I name all my scenes anyway. Because uh, it looks cleaner, I think. And instead of, especially when you look at all the shit I got. Well, like it's crazy, right? So I do brackets. I got SC, which is scene. Uh, CS, not what you think. Cut scene. Uh, NS is nested scene. So that's how I do all my stuff. So, okay, what we're gonna do is walk you through a cutscene. First, you got to first you got to make the scene in OBS. So mine's right there. I called it 88 miles per hour because it's a scene from Back to the Future. So in there, I can't click on it because if I click on it, I'm gonna lose you guys. But in your in your source, you add the actual video file. Um. And then there, that's it's in there. Then you go over to StreamerBot. And you do right click to make your new action. And you name it the same as you named it in um, OBS 88 miles per hour. Uh, the group, you, I've got a group called Cutscenes. And then your queue, I actually have made a queue called cutscenes, so all the cutscenes do not play at the same time. Anyway, so I'll, I'll click on this. Yeah, see, 88 miles per hour, cutscenes. I don't know if you guys can see that or if it's super small or blurry, but maybe I'll try to uh, widen it a little bit. So yeah, it's named the same as it is in my OBS. Cutscene, cutscene queue. So once that's made, you go over to the sub actions window, and then you have to tell it where to switch. So I tell it what scene to go to. I point it to the scene that's uh, actually I skipped a part. Add action, go to OBS, set active scene because that's the scene you want to set it. When you do that, it will look like this right there. That's the scene where I set up an OBS. So now it will go to that scene, it will play. But when it's done, it's not going to do anything. So you got to find out how long the clip is. In that case, the clip is nine seconds long. 
So you add action and you want to delay. And then the delay, you put in how long nine seconds is in milliseconds, which is 9,000. Then you hit OK. When you do, it looks just like that. It's right there. Let's highlight it in blue. And so that gives the clip time to play. But then when it's done, then you got to tell it where you want it to go back to. So I want it to go back to one of my main scenes with my camera. So I right click again, add action, go down to OBS, set active scene. When I do, I get this right here. It will ask me what scene I want to go to. I have it set to GoPro scene, which is basically my, my main camera right there. So that's done. I'm good with that. Now you go over to the tab see here. Channel point rewards. And then you got to um, make a make a reward for it. And I don't think I have a reward set up for it. I just have a cutscene. But we're gonna so we'll make a reward for it right now. So you right click, add new. And I'll call it uh, 88 MPH right there. And then you put how much you want it to, uh, how much you want it to cost. So let's just say 100 points. The prompt, this box here, that's just a little description. Um, you know, you could say whatever you want. I'm just going to put blah, 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 blah. Then you can pick the little, so when you click, click on the channel point redemption, the little colored square, you can pick whatever color. Um, I always see blue associated with Back to the Future a lot, so let's just do blue. Down here is how many times you actually want it to be used per stream, or that it can be used per stream. So with a cutscene, you don't want to do them too much, so I'm going to say twice. And then how many uh, times a certain user can trigger that? Well, you don't want one user to hog all it, so I just say one. Then you got a global cooldown, which is um, how many times in between triggers, right? So, because you don't want somebody firing it off every five seconds, so you can put whatever. I'm just going to put uh, a thousand seconds. Um, then you go down to this group section. And again, if there's nothing in there, you can just type in. So I got a group called channel points. That's what it is. Then you select the action that we just made on the previous page. So if I click here, I scroll down and I see, oh, there it is right there. 88 miles per hour. Hit select. Hit OK. And there at the top of the list is our brand new channel point redemption. So now if you go down to... Uh, it's trying to resize it. Anyway, if you go to my channel points now, you should see a brand new channel point redemption down there called 88 miles per hour. It should be in the channel points. Have, have a little peek. Look down there in the channel points and have a look and you'll see it. And uh, let's, uh, let's fire it off. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. And see, it came back to my main camera. <laughs> lights out. Oh, I better go back then so you can get your lights out. There we go. Welcome to uh, OBS tutorial in the dark. So that makes sense, or would, would I just completely stumble through? Okay. Clear as mud. <laughs> well, that's probably the way I'm explaining it. Oh shit! Why does it keep doing that? Okay. What else do we got here? We can walk through or look through. 
Um, yeah, and you can let people if you got uh, multiple scenes in your um, like I know Saber's got different scenes. He's got different backgrounds. He's got his rock scene. Um, you know, different things. You can have those as channel point redemptions. Like I said, first you got to make an action. Um, so add new action. Um, and then name it what name it the same as what it is on your OBS. Um, like so, I got that one where all the windows float around. I call it floating window scene. Uh, I created a group called Scene Switch because I have I let you guys switch a lot of scenes. And then I made a queue for the scene switch because if not, I got a couple people recently been trying to fire off multiple scenes within seconds. Um, and then so you do that. And then once you do that, you go over to your sub action window. Uh, again, you right click, add, go to OBS. It's kind of out of your scene here. Hold on here. Okay. OBS. Set active scene. And when you set active scene, it's going to ask you to point to what scene you want to. So again, you just scroll down and you find the scene. Uh, I've, I've actually called it all video sources and that's, so it's a little different, but anyway, and then you, after that, you determine how long you want that scene on for. So I give people 60 seconds on it. So again, you, you right click add action, hit delay, and then enter in the time. So 60 seconds is 60,000 milliseconds. Um, and then after that, you tell it what source you want it to go back to or what scene you want it to go back to. Or you can leave it there too, and then you can manually switch it. But I try to get to go to back to the music video scene. Uh, so again, right click, um, go down to OBS, set active scene. When you do, this window will pop up. And you tell it what scene you want it to go to. And then when that's done, um, oops. When that's done, you go over to channel points and you create a new channel point. And I already have one here, so mine's called floating windows. Here. Right there. Mine's called floating windows. Uh same thing like I said a few minutes ago, you put the name of the channel point redemption in, put the cost in. I have it as 21 channel points because I'm, I'm trying to encourage people to use the scene switching uh, prompt. Again, that's just description of what the channel point is, what color you want the little channel point thing to be. Um, yeah. And there you go. Oh, I don't know why mine says zero, though. Hmm. 20. I'll give it uh, three. And then anyways, you go down and what group it's in. At this point, if you've already put in a couple channel points, you'll already have the channel points group there. Um, and again, point it to the action that we just created on the previous page. So select floating window scene, hit OK. And there, you, you've added another channel point. And you can shut them off too from here too. If you find somebody's abusing um, a certain or not a certain person. If a certain person's abusing something, then you could probably time them out. But if you find everybody's using a certain channel point and it's kind of getting on your nerves, you can right click on it and uh, just uncheck enabled and then it'll be gone. And I'm actually going to set up uh, a button for my uh, streamer bot that's going to disable every channel point at once. And. Um, yeah, because sometimes I want to shut them off. So I'm going to create a, a like a, a I'm going to uh, create a channel point kill switch basically for myself. What other actions do we got? Um, yeah, there's little sounds. So the sounds, the ICQ, uh oh, basically how I built that. Um, is I downloaded the little uh, ICQ uh, graphic, added it to my um, OBS, and placed it on the screen where I want it to appear when it does appear. Um, so basically, this 
I created the ice cube. Uh oh. There's the sound. I put it in a group called sounds. I put it in the default queue because I don't care. People can trigger the shit out of that. It doesn't bother me. Um, and I have a two second delay before it starts. Um, I just didn't want it to go off right away. So then as soon as that does start, the first action. Get some banana. <laughs> the first action is you want to set that little. Yeah, so when you make the little graphic on your OBS, you want to um, turn the visibility for it off. The little eye icon, make sure you can't see it because you don't want it to show the whole time. So the first thing I did with this particular one, let me do this a little bit bigger, is I did right click, add action, go to OBS, and then I scroll down to. Set source visibility state. So this is first thing it's going to do is it's going to turn the little uh, icon or little graphic on. And I'll right click and show you that action right there. So I actually have that little um, the little ICQ little graphic. I have that in a scene called triggers. Uh, so I go to that scene. Oh, I guess you guys can't see it because it's out of there. Oh, there we go. I go to that scene that it's located in, which is for me, it's triggers. Then I go down to the source and I find the ICQ flower and I want it to be set to visible. So then it means you can see it. And then the next thing I want to do is play a sound. So you right click, add action, um, go to sounds. And then play a sound. And when you click on that, it's gonna want it's gonna bring up this window. It's gonna ask you which audio device you want it to uh so whatever's outgoing to your OBS. I just got application default. Um, this is usually your main sound card. Uh and then you pick the, the file you want it to play and what volume. And I can do a little test of that. You can test it too, I think. Oh no, that one doesn't have a test feature. Well, I'll go fuck myself then. Um, and then I put a two second delay on that. And then, because that gives the sound time to play. And then after that, I do the same thing again with the OBS source visibility. I go add action, OBS, set source visibility state. Um, when you click that, you'll have a window like this. I point it to that same scene, the same source. And then, but this time, instead of being visible, I set it to hidden. Welcome back, Saber. So yeah, that's how I do that. Um, what else do we got here? So yeah, we can show you uh we can show you Quagmire. So I got another category called um visuals. So what I did again is I right click, add. Uh when I hit add, the window comes up. I called it giggity. Um I have it set in a group called visuals. Again, if you don't see the group that you want to put it in. Type it in, and then once you do, it should always be there for future. Um, the queue, I set it in default queue because that's another one. I don't care if people trigger the shit out of it. Um, hit OK. Once you do that, you got to go over to your sub action window and then you right click, add action, go to OBS, and go down to um, source visibility state, kind of like the same thing we did with the with the flower. And when you do that, it will look like this. I have it again, it's in my triggers folder, things that people can trigger. Um, source, I find the source that I made in OBS, which is Quagmire 
giggity or whatever you call the file. Uh, and this particular one, I have the state just to toggle. Um, it will toggle it. It will toggle it to come on. Um, again, then you got to find out how long that actual clip is that you want to play. It's only five seconds long, so you got to do right click, add, delay. Um, and in there, you just got to type in 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. And then create another thing like we did above source visibility state, toggle, and we'll toggle it off. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Giggity, 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 go! Like that. Uh, what else do we got here? Anybody got any questions? I just kind of been rambling and I don't know if any of this is making sense to anybody or. It's, uh, you know, it, it, it can be a lot of work if you're, you kind of want to. you know, have all the bells and whistles, but. Um, yeah, and in OBS too, like I said earlier, again, this is an OCD thing for me. So, um, you know, everybody's different, but if you kind of get a naming, um, a naming thing like this, it's kind of easier. So you can make scenes that have nothing in them and just use them as dividers like that. Intro scene, main scenes, end scenes. There's nothing in them. There's zero sources inside them. I just use them for dividers so I can divide up all my shit. And then, like I said, if you do a naming um, thing like this, then it looks, it's easier, I find, visually to find. Because without this, it's just, I found it harder to read itself. Um, oops. Yeah, so before it was like that, as you can see on the screen. And I mean, it's still kind of easy to read, but... If you do that, then it looks better. Although there's a couple I haven't <coughs> I haven't renamed yet. All right, I'm going to have a little uh, drink of my toilet water here. The other thing that's kind of cool, um, if you go to the touch portal route, so once you got all your stuff in StreamerBot, um, or a good majority of your stuff in StreamerBot worked out and your channel points and this, that, and the other, um, if you don't have a stream deck, you can download touch portal. Uh, and in touch portal, you can get a streamer bot plugin for it. I mean, you, you can make all these things in touch portal as well for the most part. Um, but I like to make them all in streamer bot. I find streamer bots just easier. It works better. Um, but then you can point the stuff here in, uh, touch portal to streamer bot. Yeah. You go down once you got the plugin. You just go down, hit run action, and then do action, and then you just point it to one of the actions that you made here in um, StreamerBot.
I don't know how people do these tutorials all the time because I don't know what fucking window I'm clicking on. <laughs> Fuck! 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 Uh, yeah, so, actually, that one was super easy, too. Um, I made, let's see here, da -da -da -da. I made a scene, maybe I did, maybe I didn't, where the hell is it? Somewhere. Oh, yeah. Where is it? Right there. Weather update. So I made a scene in OBS called Weather Update. And in it, I can't show you because if I click it, it will take you out. But in it, um, I added four sources, which was those videos, those four videos. Um, and then in my uh, main camera scene, I just nested the scene, which was called weather update. Um, and then I just, yeah, I linked those to in streamer bot, which is, uh, I don't know where I put those cutscenes, maybe. Yeah. Okay. So let's go over here. Yeah. So I got, I called it weather fuck one, weather fuck two and so on. Um, and then in my touch portal, I just made those buttons, fuck one, two, three, and four. And they all point to the four actions that I made in uh, StreamerBot. And I could just, tr that's how I just trigger them just by touching them. Um, yeah, so the other thing that I made, if you got streamer bot, oh, fuck. If you got streamer bot, you can have, um, voice control, which is right there. And again, in streamer bot, you first have to make the action. So the action, so let's use DD, for example. I did right click, add, um, and I named it. And I put, tried to, this is where I started to get into my naming things. Uh, SO, shout out, DD506, group, shout out, group, Q, shout out, Q. Um, and then you go over to your sub action. And what I did is uh, add action, go down to Twitch. You can't see that because my screen's. Add action, go down to Twitch, send message to channel. Um, and when I did that, it gave me this. Um, Right there, I want the bot account to say it. Um, and what the message is going to send to the channel is exclamation point ASO, which is going to trigger my awesome shout out um, at DD. So that's going to trigger all my shout out stuff. So I made that. And then you go over to your voice control tab. And I just made another one uh, over here, right there. And it's named as Shadow DD506. The command, that's what it wants to hear. So I did shout out to mom. Uh, and I, I just say exact phrase. 
And then when I say that, you point it to what action you want it to do. So when I say those words, it triggers that action I made and we'll send it to the chat. Shout out to mom. And there it went. You see that in the chat, I fired it off. And if we were on my other screen, you would see it would do the awesome shout out as well. And you'd see all the hearts falling and, and everything. So we can actually, uh, we can go to one of these things here and try it. Try it again. Shout out to mom. There you go. Now, it didn't put the stream elements thing underneath, but I think that's because I got a cool down on stream elements, perhaps. Perhaps, perhaps. That's the other thing about when you're when you're doing this is um, you make so much shit, you forget what you've done. <laughs> Shadow G, thanks for... Uh, Thanks for being here for my scuff tutorial. <laughs> oh, you can also do, um, yeah. The other thing you can do if you want stuff just to randomly show up in chat like messages um you can do let's say let's go for my tiktok one here so right click add which will give you a new one um i named it uh tm which is text message so it's going to send it to the chat all the tiktok group is text message uh q is just default i just left it on default um then I go over to sub actions. I right click. I do add action, go to Twitch and uh, scroll down to send message to channel. Um, when you do that, you're going to get this. Again, you have to pick which account you want to say the message broadcaster or bot. I did bot. And you just put the message in. Be sure to follow DJ506 on TikTok, blah, 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 blah. Hit OK. Now you go over to settings and see timed actions. Um, and you just right click, add new. When you do, you'll get this window right there. Uh, again, I call it TikTok. And then you can set the intervals of how often you want it to show up in chat, kind of like stream elements and stream labs, how many lines, blah, blah, blah. But then you got to point it to the action. So I pointed to that message action that I just made and hit okay. And now that stuff will just randomly pop up in your, randomly pop up in your chat. Again, the other good thing about streamer bot is you got your uh, you got your viewers here in front of you. You don't have to keep a Twitch window open. Some people do, or you don't have to keep the other little thing open in the chat. The green shows moderators, pink VIPs, and then your bots or whoever else is hanging out. I see VZ's hanging out, real Eclipse. Uh, Santa Claus is here, apparently. Thank you, Santa Claus. Uh, shout out to Commander Root. Again, that's your actions tab, your channel points. It's so easy to make the channel points. Um, and again, yeah, if you if you can if you do go streamer bot, it, it, try to switch all your channel points over to be managed through streamer bot. It's just it's so easy that way. I find myself. Um. And these are the commands too. You can, so if you want people to be able to trigger things that you made, uh, you want to be able to trigger them in the chat. Here's where you make all your commands. 
with your explanation point commands or however, whatever you want to name it. Um, you can make Twitch polls. I haven't done it yet or, or predictions. I haven't done that or used that. Um, this is just your web sockets, how it connects to OBS and stuff. And there's your OBS client. You can set up hotkeys in this. I don't use those. Again, voice control, like I said. I'm not sure what donor drive is. Sounds dirty, but uh, uh the other thing you can do is uh let's see here. Yeah, this is where you make your cues. So if you want to make a cue for cutscenes or you want to make a cue for whatever it is, um here's where you would make your cue. You just type in what you want to call the cue, uh like cutscene cue or whatever. Hit add. Now that cue is in the system and you can pull it from the drop down menus and stuff like that. Um Twitch accounts, like I said before, the you link up your main Twitch account. If you have a bot account, which I recommend getting, it's nice to have something different there. Um, and your stream elements. Groups, I'm not really sure what that's about. I haven't used it. Now events, that's, I'm just getting into that. So the events tab um, is how you can do things for when people cheer, when people sub uh hype trains uh all that stuff so like right there as you can see when a hype train starts uh i have an action over here called hype train uh and these are the things that go on through my hype train which is the hype train clip i don't know if you guys seen it when kids on the railroad tracks and train first i set that up in obs it's it's its own little scene that's all said and done obs that's fine then i come over to streamer bot create a new action uh i make the hype train clip sub actions so that's a little bit of work there but you once you get the hang of it you'll figure it out so <laughs> with my hype train clip first thing i want it to do is i tell obs to set the active scene to hype train that starts the clip playing um and then uh i have a graphic come up that says hype train but i don't want that to pop up right away so i timed it uh and it starts at about 15 and a half seconds so i put that 15 and a half second delay on it so once the hype trip clip hype train clip starts playing as it's playing it's counting for 15 and a half seconds then obs source visibility which i tell it to turn on the graphic that says hype train and that stays on screen for about seven seconds, which is why this delays here. And then I tell it to hide that. Um, and because the clip's just about over, that's when the kid says, oh, shit. Uh, and then I have a two second delay on that. And then after that, I tell it to go to my GoPro scene, which is my main camera. And that's when you usually when that clip's all done, all that action's all done. That's when you hear me go, ooh the hype train thank you guys blah 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 and we go from there um yeah but in order for that to be triggered um you got to go into settings events hype train so that's what i tell it to right there as soon as the hype train starts activate the hype train clip as the hype train is progressing uh, I don't have any action, but you could put like a little graphic of a train going along the bottom of the screen or a little bar graph with like a little little level meter, whatever you want to do, or you don't have to do anything. I haven't done anything. Um, then we have level up. So every time my hype train gets to another level, uh, it shows a graphic that says level up plus one. Again, you got to go to actions. Actually, first you got to go to your OBS, put the graphic in place. Hit hide. And then you come to streamer bot. Go to the actions. Add new. Uh, this one again is called level up. The group it's in is hype train and the queue. I just left it on default because hype train is it's in its own queue. From there, that one I just uh, set a source visibility state. 
So StreamerBot tells OBS to make that level up graphic visible. I keep it on the screen for seven seconds. And then uh, StreamerBot with here with the visibility state tells it to hide it. Then it's gone. Um, the other thing is, so that happens every time that happens every time uh, it levels up. So it, it, that's why it's hooked to your Twitch account, right? Because it, it sees that, oh, we just hit another level on there. So it comes back to here and says, what do we do? And again, if you have nothing, it doesn't do anything. But if you have something, it will do that. And then I have a finish section, which is uh, thank you, hands. Uh, again, you go to your, me, I have, it's a graphic and hands are coming up and they're holding all the letters to thank you. Um, again, first thing you gotta do is you gotta make that as its thing in OBS. Uh, when you've done that in OBS, go to the actions and right click, add, and then again, you name it. Thank you hands, the group is a hype train. I have no queue on it. <coughs> oh, maybe I got hype train queue, okay. I didn't know I had a hype train queue. Anyway, from there, uh, once that's made in the actions, you go to sub actions. Uh, again, you tell, right click, add action, OBS, set source visibility state. Uh, when you do that, you'll see right here, it's in the scene called triggers. I just put it in there. Find the source of the video clip or graphic that you want uh, and set state to visible. And I want it to on, state, on screen, so I have it set for 15 seconds. But this thing does mostly everything in milliseconds, so 15,000 milliseconds. And then I basically create the same thing again. Um, but this time I want it to be hidden. And you can actually, if you want, you can right-click, copy action, paste action, and then just go into edit. And then just change the source from visible, uh, visible to hidden. Now let me get that out of there before I fuck up all my shit. <laughs> hey man, come on. Oops. Delete action. There we go. Yeah. Um <clears throat> same things for raid. Oh, let me get you guys here in a yoink. I have another thing too for uh a raid. And you can actually set off um, stuff if you're sending a raid out. Um, I haven't done that yet. I'm, I just usually go to a, I have a raid out scene that I, I've made. So I'm pretty happy with that. But uh, I do have something when a raid comes in. <coughs> uh, the action for that. Would that be? Oh, event effects. Yeah, so <laughs> that's more of an OBS thing. Um, so in OBS, I've made a couple, I don't know if you've seen when people write into me, um, my screen kind of goes all rainbow colors and it starts shaking. Those are uh, filters and shaders that I've added to my camera in OBS. Um, and so once I've done that, uh, I make sure they're off because I don't want them running all the time. So then I come over to StreamerBot and I right click, add, and then I get, again, um, I name it Raid GoPro Effects because it's affecting my GoPro camera. The group, I made a group for it called Event Effects. The queue, I didn't set a queue for it. So then once that's done, uh, you got to go over and tell it what to do. So first thing I want it to do is to set the active scene. And that's, again, right click, add action, OBS, uh, and scroll down, you can't see, but you find set active scene. <coughs> you gotta tell it what scene to go to. I want it to go to GoPro scene, which is my main camera, which uh, is, which is that camera right there. Um, and the next thing I want it to do is to trigger the filters that I've put on the camera in OBS. 
So you right click, uh, add, and then you go down to OBS, and then you go uh, set source filter state. So when I do that, it looks like this. So I have to tell it what scene to go to, which it's my GoPro scene, the source, which is the GoPro of the camera, and then it'll show you the list of filters that you made in OBS. So this first one's called Rainbow. Trigger it to visible. That turns on the rainbow. And then you just do the same thing again, this time for the shake effect where everything's shaken. And then I leave that for 30 seconds because, you know, you got to give the raiders time to get in and you want to see it and you make it want to look like a party. And, and then after the delay of 30 seconds, uh, basically I just make these two things again, but then this time I set them to hidden and it shuts it off and everything goes back to normal. And anybody in here? Seven viewers. Okay. I just want to make sure I wasn't talking to myself. <laughs> and that's how I do. That's how I do the raid one. Um, you can set it up to only trigger for certain ones, or you can have you can have different effects for different levels. Like if somebody raids you with uh, somebody raids you with under ten viewers, you can set up a certain effect for that. If somebody raids you with fifty plus viewers, you can have something for that. If somebody raids you with a thousand plus, you can create a different effect for that, and you can you can add them all um, right here, like viewer range. I don't have any viewer ranges, but um, yeah, you can, so <laughs> like zero to 100 and then you hit add. And then, so now you got, if zero to a hundred viewers are rating me and then I can pick said action. And then if I want to go 101 to 500, add that. And so now I can pick an action for that, but, uh. I don't want to do that. This is going to be recorded and I'll just, uh, what I'll do is I'll, cause there's no music in it, so I won't get any copyright strikes. I mean, there is a little bit of Serata music at the first, but her, uh, all her stuff is, uh, DMCA, uh, free. So anyway, I'll upload this to YouTube. And uh, I'll I'll put the link out. And I I really don't think I did a lot of information on this one, but if you get one little thing out of it, then that's fine. Uh, same thing over here. With this if somebody hosts you, you can make whatever you want, whatever action you want. If you want to have lasers shoot off, I know Saber's got lasers and 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 smoke and um, you know you can make that action in uh streamer bot and then tie it to a host so if somebody hosts you you just pick what action you want it to trigger and again it's the same you can do a viewer range so if somebody's hosting you with one viewer i probably wouldn't um make an, an action for that just because most people that are hosting us are just you know you say host the channel and you don't want, you know, if 10 of us do it, you don't want to set it off 10 times, right? So for the host, if I was to do a host action, it would probably be like, I don't know, 20 or more or something, right? Is what I'd probably do. Uh, some other tabs I, I don't use. So um, you would have to, you know, look on YouTube and stuff. Oh, I got... Uh, so I get like gift subs. So here I've created, if somebody does 100 exact subs, gifts 100 subs, dun, 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 there's the, the much talked about kill switch, which kill switch is just tied to an action that's, you know, over here or whatever, right? So. my video blurs there so I can go, um, yeah, so I have a, I have a blur filter in my OBS for my music videos. Cause sometimes, 
you know, titty will come out and I don't want to get in trouble with that. I have that tied to my, my, uh, touch portal slash kind of stream deck thing. And I also have it tied to voice control, I do believe. So if we go to my music video scene, and if I say into the microphone, blur the video. So then there, that, that quickly does it for me, right? Because if a titty pops out and you're on Twitch or a ding dong pops out, you want to, you want to get that shit fucking covered real quick. Um, and in this one, I didn't have a second command to undo it. It's just, uh, I set it up as a toggle. So I just say, blur the video. Oh, now it makes a liar to me. Blur the video. There, and it just, it turns off that, uh, turns off that filter. Yeah, the voice command, the voice command's funny. And you know, it's funny too. You can go over here. It keeps a log of what you say. So if you say a command and it doesn't work, um, you can go into the log and see what it thought you said. And it won't pick up swear words for some reason. Like, go fuck yourself. It thought I said, golf up yourself. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it, it doesn't know what you're saying half the time. But you can go into... So it uses the Windows... Um, it uses Windows speech-to-text recognition, as what I'm told. And if you open that up in Windows, you can actually um, teach it words. So, because right now it doesn't know any swear words. But if you go in and, you know, to the Windows thing, speech recognition, you type out, fuck. And then, you know, hit record your voice saying, fuck. It's, for now on, it's going to recognize fuck. Uh, yeah, and this voice part here, you just hit start listening. Point it to the microphone that you want it to uh, pick up. In this case, it's my, uh, my Shore MV7. Any uh, any questions, anybody? About streamer bot or OBS or how I do things or um, I have no no problem showing you guys. Uh, I have no problem showing you whatever's going on behind the curtain here. I'm out of drinks. How long have we been going for? An hour and a half. Holy shit. Yeah, streamer bot. If you have patience with streamer bot, there's so much you can do. Um, but if you if you go into streamer bot thinking that, you know. You're gonna have everything done in one night, then you're gonna get frustrated. And it's uh for me, it's just a, a tinker tool. I like. I mean, what the fuck happened there? Oh, <laughs> Whee! I must have hit something. <laughs> I hit a couple buttons. <laughs> I was moving my uh, touch portal iPad, and I triggered some shit. Yeah, and again, that's the other thing too is taking the time to eventually switch over. As you can see, like I still use some stuff from streamer ele or stream elements, uh, like the weather, dad jokes, and stuff. Because I haven't figured out how to. I tried to do it in here, but all it did was give me a broken link, uh, so I don't know how to quite do that. Um, there also is a streamer bot. If you go to the about section. And you go to StreamerBot's page, they do have a Wikipedia. I think it's something like that. And there's a lot of information in there for some of the codes you might need. 
uh like one of the ones i, I couldn't figure out how to um put the person's username in the chat like if they did so for example if i type in uh go here <coughs> if i type in exclamation point party it will tr it will trigger a graphic right there and then the chat will say dj506 wants to party well i couldn't figure out how to get it to grab my name so I had to go find out what variable that was. Uh, and that variable is, uh, if it will come up in chat. Yeah, percent user percent, which I believe is the variable for, for that. Um, Emotional damage. I want to make sure everybody was paying attention. <laughs> yeah, so that's the variable to to uh, get that person's username. So if I go to um, where are we at here? Oh yeah, so I've called it. Uh, I've called it Party Comic Bubble. And if I go over to um, right there, so I had to do, I had to do an add target info from input, which was, uh, where did I find that at? Logic, maybe? I forget how I got that. Uh, I forget how I got that one. Isn't that funny? Hmm. Where did I find that at? Anyway, I don't know where I got that from. Add target info from input. Anyways, then, uh, anyway, yeah, like right there. That's the, oh, I better push that up in here user wants to party forget how i got that other thing though add target info from input. Where did, where did that go? oh add target info so that's uh actions where did i get you from Yeah, I don't know where the fuck I got that from. I forget how I got that there. Hmm. Get action state, maybe? not it anyway i don't know how i did that pretty awesome isn't it oh get user info for target is that what it's called where the fuck did that come from then oh right there get user info for target I found it. It's down in Twitch. Down in the old Twitch. Oh, that didn't sound good, did it? <laughs> down in the old Twitch, man. Yeah, get user info for target right there. Source type user. Yeah. And then you put the variable in. And, yeah. Yeah. That's how I did that. I remember now. No, I don't. Uh, does anybody need me to show them anything else? 
in StreamerBot or Touch Portal or OBS. You did 22, 22 more minutes on the bike. Legs are rubbery and burning like a mother effer. Watch your profanity. Yeah, that's the other thing um, people could kind of add to their stream if they want. If they got a green screen, um, you can add anything. Like, this is me playing with this, the Ernie puppet that I got over here. I just playing around in front of a green screen and made my own green screen video. Um, yeah, or this one here, like I made. Boo! Possibilities are endless, really. Uh, have a good night, Mom. Don't forget to call your doctor and book a shot. Fuck! Where's the self? The selfie guy, I have a little bit of issue with the selfie um, trigger because... Uh, I want him to pop up slowly, and then I have an effect where he's supposed to fade down, but instead he just clips out, and it it kind of, uh, see how he pops up nice and smooth, and I, f I want him to go away the same way, but for some reason, I don't know if it's OBS or the clip or whatever, but he's not, he just, he's gone, and I want him to, I want him to kind of, And for some reason, it, it for some reason I can't get that uh, transition effect to work on that clip. I've even redone the clip. Um, I changed the end times. I did a whole bunch of shit, and it still won't work. It drives me crazy. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, what else do we got? What else do we got? We got the beer opening again. I've explained these before. They're just uh, they're just green screen effects. Um, cam zoom. That one there is. Uh, I put a move transition on my a move transition filter on my GoPro cam, so I I when you when you do the filter, I think you got to move or zoom your camera into where you want it to be and that's like point a or something and then you put your camera back to its normal size and that will be like point b or whatever um and then i just have a button that will trigger that uh that move transition like that right and then stays holds and then it goes back yeah i tried to add a few more seconds onto that and um that selfie guy, I don't know what the fuck, it's, it's super weird. You always get that one little glitch or a little ghost in the machine or something. Everything works fine, but then that one thing doesn't. Um, we got Kitty Cat, and we all know Betty White. Again, she's just a, she's a green screen. 
I have her set up in, in streamer bot. I have her tied to channel points and I also have her tied to my, uh, so I can trigger. Sometimes I like to trigger it. Um, I was going to do the same thing for the dance and banana, but we know Didi's on that. So we don't have to add that here for me to trigger because Didi's got us. <laughs> Um, the other thing I did recently is add a green screen. Um, so without my GoPro camera, let's go here and turn that off. Without, behind almost every scene, uh, behind, behind almost every scene, like I said before, is my Serato video. And then what I do is I have, um, right there, I have a VHS filter on it. So that's behind every scene you go to on my uh, stream. Uh, and then you add my GoPro camera, but when you add the GoPro camera, what, and then I got my green screen panels now, it it's picking up what's behind it, which sometimes I can leave it like that. But then what I've also done is uh, added in my mixer camera, which is right there. And I just resized it. So when you put the GoPro camera on top of it, <coughs> There you go. It just looks like it's incorporated in the picture. Or I can also could add in, um, uh, I source mirrored my Serato video feed, the clean feed, and I could also use that as, uh, as you can see right there. I just added in the clean feed, shrunk it down, and then when you put the GoPro camera on top of it, so I can so I could be playing my music videos, um, or I can just have the background, or I can have my mixer camera, or I could put my um, jam text back there, whatever I want back there. If I had people come in on Discord or Zoom calls, I could put them back there, um, whatever I want. Then we have the film strip, uh, which has my Serato video feed and it has jam text in it, but I don't have jam text uh, open at the moment. So that's why you're getting those. <laughs> Every second one is a hole. <laughs> I said hole. Um, oh, then we have my, uh, if I go up and get a drink, I pull what Amaranth and M always pull. Um, what kind of a play on that? All those hot tub girls are like changing into cute bikini send bits and i say send bits or subscribe to stop this because nobody wants to see you in a bikini um again the same with uh the selfie guy we added uh, another green screen person which is the lost guy this guy here again he's just a green screen effect that i can trigger um and some of these I'll swap them out. Like, there's going to come a point where you guys can do it through channel points. Um, but right now, some of them I keep to myself. Some of them I let you guys trigger, and well, I can change those out and and do them different ways. And that's just the full camera of my. And that's um, this camera here is my iPhone. Um, you can do it wirelessly. Uh, right now, and usually when I stream, I just have it. Uh, through USB cable um, makes a great camera. I think the quality is excellent. My Logitech cam, which just points on my mixer, so I call it mixer cam. Mixer cam. And another bonus, another bonus scene here that I, that's uh, you can trigger that via channel points, but I don't use it on the regular. And all these, uh, every time I go to a new scene and everything kind of floats away, um, that's just called move transition. That's what that is. It's, I have it set up in my uh, in my scene transition. So you have a scene transition section. It's just in there. I added it there. And that just moves, makes everything all floaty.
Uh, this scene, again, is set up with... Uh, I have moved tra transitions on all these video sources. Not on the... Not on the video source itself, because if you do it on the video source itself, it will they'll all float in every scene. So what I had to do is uh, install a plugin called uh, Mirror Source or Source Mirror. Source Mirror, I think. Yeah, Source Mirror. So basically, that allows you to copy one of your sources, but then you can add effects on top of that Source Mirror, and it won't affect the original, the original source. Uh, yeah, so the GoPro scene, which we were just on. Yeah, so that's all. And then we have, um, you don't get to see too much, but if I don't raid out, I just use this scene here. Um, the credits that you're seeing, they're coming from StreamerBot. That's something that's built in the StreamerBot, which is really cool. You can just add it. Um, I think it's awesome. Uh, how this scene is built, uh, basically what you're seeing in the background, what is blurred is uh, a video I took of my gear. I just set up the iPhone and uh, I just recorded my gear for a couple minutes. Uh, there's the actual video right there. So I brought that video in and then what I did is right click, I went to filter, I went to blur. Uh, I put a blur on it um, and you can adjust the size of the blur. but i made it so it just kind of makes it look all like artsy fartsy like i like i'm cool and i know what i'm doing but yeah basically that's just what that is that's so some people think that's a, a live feed but it's not it's just uh again the credits come from streamer bot um and then the other scene is a raid out scene so that little that little door that's uh, a transition that I have uh, a little transition scene and I have it assigned to that scene only so that won't go to uh, <coughs> that won't use that it's not used on any other scene like same with that one that standby right there that's assigned to that particular scene um, yeah anyways that one's so that's a raid transition then I have a little raid uh, conveyor belt. And that file was made. So I can't take credit for that file. That was a, oh, I forget the guy's name. It's like Stream Oracle or something like that. Anyways, he has a couple of these free things that he gives people. Uh, it's like a template or whatever. So I downloaded it. And then in it, you can... You can tweak it to whoever you want. So I changed the color to yellow to match the raid logo, and I put the raid logo in. Um, but as far as all that conveyor belt, I didn't build that. I, I wish I had that fucking knowledge in Blender, but if that's the case. I'd be my stream would be crazy. Anyway, and that's just a that's just a video file. That's just running. Um, what else do we got here? And we have a bubble scene because when I have a channel point redemption, when uh, you get 20,000 points, you can play, get me to play rubber ducky for Ernie because Ernie was kind of like the unofficial mascot of the channel for a while. Now it seems to have shifted to Skeletor for some reason, but so yeah, then when that scene comes on and somebody redeems the channel points, I play um, rubber ducky and then I just talk all over. Hey Bert, you see that I'm on TV, Bert? Hey Bert, look at, I'm on Twitch, Bert. Stupid stuff like that. Um, another thing you can download for OBS is called Transition Table. Transition Table. So what Transition Table does... Um, oops. Transition Table... I don't know if you can see it or not. Well, that's going to get fucking weird, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. But it's, you know what I do? I'll push it over the other screen. Hold on here. That makes me want to fucking... 
die. Uh, oh, hold on. I got to close this out again. Ah, make it stop. <laughs> okay. Go to the other screen. Let's open up transition table. Drag it over. There we go. <coughs> the transition table is in your regular OBS. You have. Fuck, I have to close this again. I'm going to punch a kitten here in a minute. <laughs> in your regular OBS, you have. Um, Right there, you have your scene transition. And that allows you to set one transition and you use that for everything. So I have mine set to move transition, which gives you all that floaty shit. But there's some scenes, I don't want them to transition to that. I want them to have their own, their own uh, transition. So in comes transition table. And there's transition table there. So basically you say, you can, from whatever, so you can say from any scene going into said scene, use this. Or you can say from said scene to said scene, use this. Uh, and it's pretty easy. Like right there, you just go through, pick whatever one you want. And then from this scene to, and then you go to this one, this scene, blah, 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 use whatever transition. So I got a couple. So I have a bunch of stingers that are made. Uh, sometimes you see my logo spinning or those are stingers that I had made. Um, you pick whatever one you want it to do. And then you guys set the duration of how long that stinger is um, and hit set. And there you go. And then so I got all these ones set up here. And that's the plugins called transition table. So that's again, so that you can have multiple transitions instead of using the same one. Cause after a while I find it gets a little, it gets a little boring um, using the same one. And I'll show you an example of that. So um, like I said, going from all these scenes here, I just have the move transition. That's what I use all the time. But when I'm on my intro scene, uh, usually from my intro scene, I'll move to my music videos. Um, that's when I'm first starting my stream. So I want a specific transition for that. Uh, so I use a standby one or loading, sorry, loading. But now when I go through the rest of them again, it's just going to use my standard move one. But again, if I'm on that intro scene and I'm going to my music video scene, we're loading. And the other case is when I go to my GoPro, which is my main camera, uh, I think I want to use my little twirly stinger, that one. And in my mind, it's, you know, you're going from, um, you know, whatever else, but the main one is focusing on me. So that's why I use my DJ 506. And when I conclude, um, I always have the standby one. So it goes that one. Anybody got any questions? I've been rambling here about my shit for a while. So again, I'm going to upload this to YouTube. I did record it, right? Yeah, I am recording. Um, I'll upload to YouTube. Um, again, it's not a proper tutorial and it's probably not even a good one, but if it can help one person do one thing, then we're golden. Do I ever do drops for people like like voiceovers, voice drops? I haven't, but I could. I'd do that. Like nothing. I don't mind doing that. If somebody wants to hear my voice, then woohoo! 
Or if you need me to, um, uh, if you need me to do something stupid on green screen, I don't mind doing that either. Like I think I said to Saber, I said, if, if you want boo, I'll give you boo. You can have boo. I think I'm going to get, um, so DJ Shadow G and I, we've been friends since 94. And uh, we've DJed together a lot in the clubs. And one of the things we always do, because, you know, we're buddies. He'll be DJing, I'll be across the bar. You suck! Same thing, you suck! And, or if we're talking to each other, you know, before, you know, we don't say, hey, all right, talk to you later. So we get, um, don't forget, you suck. Um, you know, call him up on his birthday. Or, hey, happy birthday, you suck. So I want him to do a green screen one where he just walks on and faces me and is like, you suck! Boo! Yeah, so if uh, if anybody wants me to boo them or wants that boo clip, <laughs> I'll gladly send it to you. I should get actually anybody that's capable of doing green screen effects to send me um, a clip that's very similar. <clears throat> Everybody just starts sending me boo clips and I'll just, I'll just randomly trigger them throughout the night. Just, boo, boo. <laughs> I see in the list that VZ's in here. I don't know if he's actually watching or if he. Um, if you're in here, VZ, say hello. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Um, uh, Alley Cat, that's no problem. So. <laughs> funny thing, actually, uh, speaking of voice work, I'm actually thinking about. Um, I'm thinking about doing some. so. Not a lot of people on Twitch know that um, for the past, uh, well, past 11 years, almost 11 years now, I've been not so bad now, but I've been dealing with uh, anxiety and panic attacks. Um, so to help me get through that, uh, I downloaded a lot of uh, apps, meditation apps and stuff like that, or hypnosis apps. Um, and I really like them. So I like the thing where it's like, you know, uh, you know, find a place to lay down or have a seat and, you know, take a deep breath and relax and, you know, contract these muscles, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I think that I would like to start doing a couple of those myself, um, not on camera, just my voice, and then I'll get some sort of psychedelic video or something relaxing in there and, uh, you know, some sort of uh, royalty-free relaxing music in the background and start uploading them to YouTube. Um, you know, cause see if it can help somebody. Um, cause I know they helped me a lot when I was going through just fucking horrible shit with panic and anxiety. And, and, uh, yeah, it actually all came along when, um, when my son was born two weeks after my first son was born, I had a wicked panic attack and, I couldn't understand. I thought I was having a heart attack. I was like, holy fuck, this is the end for me. I'm about to check out. And I guess what triggered it is um, my father passed away when he was 31. So the psychiatrist said to me, he said, you're probably having anxiety and panic because you want to be there for your child. But your dad wasn't. He died when he was so young. So you thinking you're going to die. So it's triggered all this shit. And uh, and now this is in a tutorial video. Anyway, back to that. I want I want to make some um, not ASMR, but just relaxing meditation video clips and whatnot. I think they'd be I think they'd be pretty cool. And to come back around, yes, I, I I'll do I can do a voiceover for you. Um, I'll try to get on it here this week or next week, and uh, I'll send you a couple. Oh, 
All righty. Uh, what else did I go through? Yeah, I went through how I name my scenes. Um, again, you can you can make dummy scenes just to use them as dividers. You don't have to have anything in them. Just just use them as dividers, like right there. Cut scene, other scene, end scenes. Makes everything nice and clean. It's good on the OCD. Um, nested scenes. I don't know if I've ever told you guys about nested scenes. So, oh, the fuck happened there? Bueller. 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 I, be I better get that one out of there. Yeah, YouTube will fucking shut that shit down. I didn't mean to click on that, by the way. Um, yeah, so a nested scene. I go all the way down here. Um, so one of my main nested scenes is uh, overlays and sounds. Um, I'll click on that because you can still hear me in that one. Um, oh, no, I won't click on it because you won't be able to see anything. But yeah, that's where I put everything, anything that you're going to use in multiple scenes. Um, so I got my sound in there. I got my alerts in there. I got my emote wall in there. Uh, I got my new chat bubbles in there. So anything that you know. So if you got 10 scenes and you know there's something you're going to use in all 10 scenes, instead of adding it to all 10 scenes, add it to this nested scene. So in my case, it's uh, called overlays and sounds. That's where all my main shit is. And then so when I make a new scene, I only have to bring in that one nested scene instead of adding all this 30 or 40 things to that scene and all the other scenes that I got. It's so much easier, so much easier. Um, yeah, and I, I found that from a YouTuber. And, and when they showed me that, I was just like, holy fuck, this is going to be so much easier. So much easier. So yeah, you're using nested scenes now too. Yeah, that's that's the way to go, right? I mean, if you got one or two scenes, that's fine. You can add in your alerts and your emote wall and once or twice. But you get, as you can see, <coughs> you know, look at this, look at this mess on screen, right? <laughs> it's um, fun. I don't know. Does anybody in here um, use Giphy? I've been I use Giphy. That's just to have the memes and stuff pop up. But for some reason, it's not working for me as of late. I don't know what I've refreshed it. I've done everything, and I don't know what's going on. So, Ali, did do you have a, did you add any emotes yet? By the way, the music that was playing at the very first of this stream, um, right here, is a Canadian artist who's also on Twitch. Her name is Serena. Shout out to Serena. <laughs> you had emotes since last year. Oh, awesome. Emotes since last year. Well, you're all prepared. I got a... I think I got... Two or three more animated emote spots open. I just don't know what to put in them. Um, although I one of my static emotes, I think... Uh, my print symbol. I also have an animated one now, which is the same thing, just animated. I think I'm going to delete the static print symbol. And just stick with the... Um, the animated one because it's almost like double right so 
PJ Iceman. Welcome in, sir. Welcome in. Welcome to um, uh, Scuff Streaming School with 506. <laughs> We're just, uh, I don't know if I'm schooling people, but I'm, I'm rambling. Back in my day, this is how we used to stream. You kids with your clickety clack and your ticker talkers. Get the fuck off my lawn. Uh, what's up, Iceman? What's up? Got any questions? Got anything that you want to explain that's on my stream? Other than what's mentally wrong with me I, I i can't explain that it's just no i'm wired you've been tinkering you got the commands down good oh that's good actually i uh don't mind me i'm getting sideways in my seat because you know i'm old Yes, yeah, so what I was saying is, what did I do last? Oh, I watched the Janet Jackson documentary on A&E, uh, which is pretty good, by the way. Um, if you don't like Janet, then it's fucking pointless. Uh, anyways, so I have this thing where I don't care what I'm watching, what I'm doing. If I'm going to bed, I, my eyes could be hanging out of my head. I was like, oh, I'm going to see who's on Twitch. I'm going to see who's on Twitch, so I'll, I'll take a peek at Twitch. And anyways, I saw that you were on, maybe? one or two in the morning and i i saw some there was some trippy shit going on your on your stream ice man there was some a light show and i don't know if that was like um a video of a real light show or if that was something that's just computer computer animated uh graphics anyway it looked pretty cool A little bit more upbeat than us, so you tend to have the graphics. Oh, video. Okay, cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it. I, I was uh, I was mesmerized by it. I kept looking. I was like, ooh, that looks pretty. And then it reminded me of, I mean, not that it was ever that extent, but it reminded me of the bar that I worked at here at the Three Mile when Three Mile first opened. We had the we had the best sound and lights in Atlanta, Atlanta, Canada, hands down. There was no bar that could touch the Three Mile back in the day and then then they let it go to shit and well you know yeah so anyways i've walked through uh i walked through this is what you're seeing on screen now is my obs um basically just showing folks uh how i name all my scenes um, it just looks cleaner. And when you need to find something, it's, um, so I abbreviate it. NS is nested scene. Uh, CS is not what you think. It's cut scene. Um, although there's one in there, I consider a cut scene, but it's the MGM tiger, but I named it GS for like green screen, but it's a green screen cut scene. Um, and then my scenes that I use, my main scenes, my intro scene, jam text, promo, all that. Um, yeah. But anyways, that's how I name them. And then I was saying in between them, you just make dummy scenes uh, for dividers. So, because I want to show that these are all my main scenes. So I just made a dummy scene with nothing in it, just as a, a divider. And the other thing we went through is uh, StreamerBot. Uh, actions in StreamerBot. And I'm in more of a construction at the moment. All my scenes will be turned down to redo. Nice when I get it all intact. Nice. Have a have a look at StreamerBot if you can. Um, especially if you like to tinker with shit. StreamerBot is definitely um, a lot of fun. And it's very powerful, when, especially, and I'm just, I mean, I get some people are like, oh, this is amazing. And how'd you do this, that, and the other? And it's like, I did it in StreamerBot, but what I'm doing in StreamerBot is, is nothing compared to what other people are doing. Um, 
Again, uh, Nutty, N-U-T-T-Y. You can find him on Twitch. You can also find him on YouTube. He does a lot of tutorials. Uh, his stream is insane. Um, if you watch his stream, you'll probably notice a few things that are familiar. I've uh, lifted and put my own spin on some of the stuff from him. Um, and he's cool with that. He's super cool. I've said that to a couple times. Like, yeah, I'm stealing that. And he's like, I don't own it. Just take it. Uh, actually, that's where the, like I said before, that's where the watch your profanity uh, cuss thing came from. Although he had his setup to voice trigger. Um, so anytime he said whatever, all the cuss words that he had in there, it would. And then I think he got sick of it. And because it was triggering all the time because he swears a lot. And then. Uh, then he said one day, he goes, yeah, I think I'm going to shut that off for a bit. I'm not going to do that any, anymore. And then, uh, so I was like, all right, I'm going to steal it. Yes, so the voice command, uh, again, uh, that's through um, StreamerBot. There's a voice command tab uh, right there. Um, you set the commands up here, but before you set up the commands, you have to actually set up actions in there. So um, I have a shout out group. So basically uh, right click, hit add. When I did, um, it come up with this window. I name it. So I kind of try to name them like I do in OBS. Bracket SO, which is shout out. Uh, DD506, which is my mom. Um, and then I made a group. So if you don't have that group made, all you do is just type it in there. And once you type it in there, it's going to be in your drop down forever. So you can, so again, I made a shout out group. Uh, you can go in another spot and set up a queue um, because that's the thing. You don't want all these things triggering on each other. So I set up a shout out queue. Uh, when that's done, I go over to once that action's made there, I got to go to the sub action and tell it what to do. Um, so what I did is just right click, add action, and I wanted to send a message in Twitch. So I go down to the Twitch thing, send message to channel. When I click on that, the box will come up like this. Um, and then you tell it, who do you want to say the message in chat? uh the broadcaster which is your main twitch account or a bot so uh what i do is i made a second twitch account as you see in my chat cousin 506 comes up that's another twitch account so i link that also in streamer bot so when i do that i have an option between broadcaster or bot anyways and then i just put uh the command in there to trigger my awesome shout out which is uh aso or explanation point aso and then at, and then the user, which is DD. Yeah, so yeah, Cousin506 is, it's a Twitch account, but it's being controlled by StreamerBot. Uh, anyway, so once you do that, that means that action has been created. StreamerBot now has that action there. Then I go over to voice control uh, and hit right click, add. Oh, I guess I got to show you on screen, don't I? Anyway, I go over to here, right click, add, and then when I hit add, um, it'll come up with a window like this. So again, I name it shout out uh, DD506. And then in the command section, uh, in the command section, you have to type in uh, exactly what you're going to say to trigger that thing. So I have shout out to mom. Um, and then you tell it, does it have to be exactly said like that? Or does it start with that or anywhere in the sentence? I usually have, for the shout outs, I usually have it exact. And then in the action tab, you click that. Then you go find that action you just made in the action window. Um, and yeah. So then now, so now when I say it, shout out to mom. In there it automatically triggers it and, and the graphic will come up on the screen when i'm in that when i'm in that window uh what's the advantage to the extra account um i don't 
think there's really an advantage other than um I don't know, it's just it I think people are used to seeing bots do all the stuff like the messages and this that and the other. So it's it's kind of like it's like that. It's just the it's not you spamming the chat all the time and and whatnot. It's uh it's your bot or whatever you want to call it, right? I've named my, I've had three different names to mine already. Um it was like 506 bot and then it was little body 506 and now I've settled on cousin 506. Um yeah, so I don't I don't think there's any advantage to it. It's just it's just kind of cool to have a separate entity to do all that in the chat. Yes, yeah, so stream elements you stream elements will do a lot of this too. Um for sure. Uh the reason why I use streamer bot is just I got more control over it. Uh I can customize it more. Um I mean, and again, you you can still do a lot with stream labs and stream elements. Um but this kind of brings everything into one place. Yeah, and that's the other thing too, right? Like some I've gone in some people's chats and it's like they got stream elements, stream labs, moobot, nightbot, um, you know, whatever other bots are out there. And, and that can be a little bit much or distracting, I think, for me anyway. So I prefer just to have my bot account do everything. And again, everything in streamer bot because um, you missed it earlier, but you can, uh, you know, everything that comes up from stream elements, like when somebody follows your page, uh you know and that graphic comes up or you get a raid and that graphic comes up or hype trains or whatever you can control all that in streamer bot um and do more with it right um and or shut it off if you want to and it's just a click away instead of going into you know oh i gotta sign into stream labs for this or i gotta sign into stream elements for that or i gotta sign into moobot moobot or nightbot for this you go into streamer bot, which is locally hosted on your computer. And that's the other thing too. Um, there's t been times where uh, some of your things won't work in stream elements because stream elements has been down or stream labs has been down. Um, or if so, if any of those things go down, um, none of that works. But as long as you got streamer bot on your computer, it's always going to work because it, it's right there. It's locally hosted, right? So. There's a quote system in there too, but I continue to use stream elements for the quotes just because we have so many things in stream elements quote system. Um, if I could find a way to transfer all the previous quotes that we have in stream elements into streamer bot, then I would switch to streamer bot. I haven't really looked into that yet though. Um, yeah, and there's a sub counter uh built into this um yeah and there's the there's the main so you sign in with your twitch account and then if you make another twitch account for your bot you sign in with that one uh, and your stream you can link your stream elements in here um so when you get like uh somebody tips you and i like i have my paypal linked to my stream elements so when somebody tips me I find it in stream elements, but where I have this link now, I can do something in this now. So if somebody, um, if somebody tips me in stream elements, it's pretty generic, you know, so-and-so sent a tip, but in this streamer bot, I can get it to do whatever the fuck I want. I can lasers or smoke or what are the, you know, your, uh, your imagination, you're only limited by your imagination, right? So. Yeah, so your PayPal goes, yeah, see, and my PayPal goes to Stream Elements too. But then again, now that I have Stream Elements linked in my streamer bot, I can add something really cool for that. And that's the thing too, I can set ranges, right? So uh, in Stream Elements and PayPal there, if somebody tips you, like I said, it's one generic message, but I can set ranges. So from, I can do from one to $10, it will do this. If from, you know, $11 to $25, it will do this. 
from $26 to $100, it will do something else. So you can set crazy stuff with it. Uh, there's hotkeys in here. I don't use those. Uh, I don't know what donor drive is. I'm not really sure what that's all about, but um, yeah, I haven't looked into that. But anyway, yes, yeah, I can't praise StreamerBot enough. It's it's a pretty powerful tool. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, party pack. Yeah, you could do pretty much anything. It's pretty crazy. All right. Um, anybody else have any questions that I could possibly answer for them about how anything runs or anything they need help with on their stream? Um, if I can, if I can answer the question, I will. If I don't know it, then you're shit out of luck. This is going to be the worst tutorial on YouTube. <laughs> And he just he just like stumbled his way through and he didn't know half the things and then he started talking about panic and anxiety. This guy's an idiot. Uh and some of those things that I have in my uh in my stream um like uh the chat bubbles uh or the awesome shout outs or the sideways chat um you can youtube those things and if you can't find them let me know and i can send you a link to where i got them from on youtube well you know what um March 26 is two years that I've been doing this. And uh, so it, it's been a work in progress. And I think it always will be. Um, I started out pretty, pretty basic with no bells and whistles at all. And just slowly built it and slowly built it. But, um, and I don't think I'll ever be done because I love to learn. I love to tinker and I love change. Um. So, you know, you, sometimes you could expect to come in and everything looks completely different and I've trashed everything else and went on to something different. Yeah, you just need to get this stuff working, Saber. Yeah, it, ne it never ends, right? It never ends. No. Oh, let me go here. Desktop capture. Screen. Yeah, and Saber, if you're uh, if you get working on something, and you get stuck. Give me a shout. Um, I could help you through, or whatever you need, or anything with Ali or anything like that. Yeah, and like I said earlier, the weather and stuff like that. You could probably, if it works on Stream Labs or Stream Elements. Although, if you can switch it to Stream Elements, do it because Stream Labs fucking suck. Um, you know, if you need to keep it there to keep it working for sure, because like I said, I got a few things like dog facts, cat facts, dad jokes and stuff like that, which is kind of the same thing as weather, um, that I kept that on stream elements cause it, it works there and I can't figure out how to work it in streamer bot. But when I do, I'll let you know. Oh, we need to do. We need to do a weather report. What's the weather like outside right now, Mr. Weatherman? Fuck! All right, all right. Can we get a second opinion on that? Fuck! All right. There you go. That's the weather. There you have it. Yeah, so I hope this uh, little uh, scuff tutorial helps people out. Except for this guy. Yeah, yeah, you didn't like it, I know. Boo! Yeah, yeah. Okay, buddy. Move along. Take your friend with you, too. Yeah, this guy. Take him. Get out of here.
There you go, buddy. Uh, the chat bubbles too. Um, what I suggested to Shadow G is, uh, you can use the chat bubbles just to pop up, but you can also set it so it just falls in line like a regular chat. Uh, so what I would do is, what I suggested to him is to make one with a regular chat that lines up and have that on the side somewhere. And then set that to everybody so that whoever types in, it will work like a regular chat. And then have another instance of chat bubbles and actually use them as bubbles, but set it to subscribers only. So just people who have subscribed will pop up. Summer Rain, welcome in, welcome in. VZ, I saw you hiding. I saw you hiding. Yeah, so. If you set up two instances of chat bubbles, you can have, like I said, a regular chat and then just set the bubbles to subscriber only and only the subscriber stuff will come up. <laughs> What'd you think, Uncle Roger? This is fucking terrible. Oh, an etch a sketch? Is that what you're asking? Right here, an etch a sketch? Or is you talking about the film strip? Kind of does look like an etch a sketch. Oh, and uh, we're going to try to convince uh, the missus to uh, maybe some Friday do a little DJ set. Uh, we even got our little graphic here for her. DJ, DJ Sparkle Bits. Let's see if we can get her to uh, do a set some Friday. And uh, for those that don't have streamer bot and wanted, the website is streamer.bot. There's a download there. And they do have a, a wiki. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Uh, Lady506, she's not a DJ, but um, like a lot of people, when she has alcohol, she thinks she is. So um, I let her play. <laughs> Yeah, uh, and when you get in the streamer bot, um, you can find streamer bot videos on YouTube. They have a wiki, um, and that will give you some of the variables too that you need for uh, do certain things. There's a lot of like, there's channel reward, redemption, subs, resubs, gifts. It's just there's tons of things in there. It's really cool. And then there's also a guy on YouTube. Um, Nutty has a, a kind of a scuff tutorial. And uh, if you actually type in streamer bot, tons of shit will come up. But there's one main guy. Uh, where is he at? I think it was Vlad or something like that, I think. Oh, there he is right there. Yeah. Uh, VR Flad. V R F L A D. Excuse me. <laughs> this guy right here. Uh, I'll put the link. 
in the chat. This guy here is great with streamer bot. I think he's in with them. I think he's in with the guy who created it. Um, anyway, yeah, he's got tons of good shit. Look at all these videos he's got on StreamerBot. Uh, a request list system, uh, a giveaway system, Ouija board, channel point redemption, uh, emote rain, uh, video shout out. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. Timed events. And he's also on Twitch also. And uh, he's super friendly. And when he when he's on doing the streamer bot stuff, um, he has no problem. Uh, no problem helping you out. Super nice. Great guy. Great guy. Mr. Decade. Yes, I'm, I'm still rambling. We've been rambling now for... Uh, Two and a half, two and a half hours. Uh, VR Flad, I got the link up there. Yeah, it's either VR F Lad or VR Flad. Yeah. Anyway, that that guy there, he'll uh, between him and the streamer bot wiki and some other people. Um, you'll you'll be a streamer bot master in no time. You should do a DJ set now, yeah. No, no DJing for me tonight. Actually, what time is it? Eleven thirty. Yeah. It's a it's a school night, so if I'm firing up the tables and on eleven thirty, then I'm gonna get uh, I'm gonna get shot. I think the cat's around my feet. Maybe not. Yeah, if I start DJing now, somebody's going to come downstairs and say, Fuck! <laughs> or they'll say, Boo! And I won't care. I'll be all like, And then my wife will beat me, and my kids will say, <laughs> Oh. Ready? <laughs> Tim, welcome in, welcome in. This is, uh, what will Ernie and Bert say? Uh, Ernie will just dance. Hey, Bert, look. Hey, Bert, look at me dancing on Twitch. And guess who's watching me, Bert? EJ Decade. Oh, yeah. Doody doo. Rubber ducky, you're the one. The show is scuffed. It smells like my bum. Why do you guys let me do this shit? Worst stream ever. Fuck! Oh, Elmo and Big Bird stoned. Wasn't that a clip that was going around like Wasn't that a clip an audio clip that was going around in the early days of the internet? Yeah, yeah. I think I remember that one. Oh, the early days of the internet. <laughs> so many so many good things. So many good things. I probably have uh I probably have a couple hard drives floating around in my storage room with I used to back up my shit all the time. Now I'm just fucking lazy and stupid. But um, yeah, I probably got tons of stuff like that. Uh, 
What was the other one that used to go around back then? The guy's uh, Yay Toast. Remember that song? The other one, uh, Nine Coronas. What was the other one? Uh, I'm a bimbo girl. And I remember the flash files you used to get. There was one uh, when they had the rumors about Britney Spears with the breast uh, implants. And somebody was singing, make my boobies one more size. And you kept pushing the button and Britney's boobs kept going bigger until they would explode. <laughs> what was the other game? There was another game too back in the day. Um... I think it was like a flash based game, but it was Walk the Drunk. You remember that one? You had to you had to walk the drunk home. You got an Irish schoolgirl one. Demolition company. Remember the remember the jerky boys? Anybody listening to the jerky boys? I should make a couple of their clips of Channel Point Redemption. Jerky boys were hilarious. I think I still got a couple of their CDs. Um, I don't know why I'm looking at this camera because I don't have it on the right scene. But of course, I can do all the you can do all the jerky boy voices. The only one I the stands out for me was uh, I don't know if it was supposed to be an old lady or an old man, but I just remember something about Pablo, Pablo, honey, are you washing your ass, Pablo? <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was about, but. Yeah. The only thing I didn't like about the Jerky Boys, um, I kind of went sour with the Jerky Boys when Princess Diana had um, that whole thing was going on that night where she had passed and um, the car was still, you know, in its location. They hadn't cleaned anything up in the tunnel. And CNN was reporting live. And then they went, they said, oh, we have somebody who was there live on the phone with us. And as soon as the person started talking, I was like, this motherfucker sounds like a jerky boy. And sure enough, as the conversation went on and they start saying some real inappropriate shit, and then they start laughing and they hung up. And I was like, it was the jerky boys <laughs> fucking guys. Yeah, Crank Yankers. Um, I didn't watch. I've heard about the Crank Yankers, but I didn't watch a lot of Crank Yankers. Well, I did in pornos, but... Uh... Not the comedy one. Saber, you're right. You're right. Yep. So, uh, anybody else got any questions or want anything explained on what I do in my stream? Anything like that? Um, let me know. I'll, I'll probably be on for. I'll probably stay on for about another ten or fifteen minutes, uh, unless somebody's got a couple questions they need explained. But if not, then I'll I'll probably hop off here soon. Your royalty. Ali said you're a royal pain in the ass. I don't know. Is that, is that the same thing? I don't know how I could set it up from here, but I, I could try. Oh, and the other thing is... Um, Maybe I'll do this before I hop off is uh, I'll grab my camera and I'll kind of show you Ooh, that fucking close mug. But I'll give you a little behind the scenes of kind of what's going on here. Um, the iPad that has touch portal on it. Um, that's my fridge where I keep my beer. That's Ernie doing a pose. Uh, what do we got here? George Jones license plate. A kit car. I don't know if you can still hear me on the microphone, but Skeletor. 
the mic that I use. Um, <clears throat> normally it's set up in front of me, but I really like the sound of it, and I'm thinking about buying two. I'm thinking uh, one for my just chatting streams, and and then one for my DJing. It is the Shore MV7. Is that what I have to look now? Because Shore MV7, yeah, and uh, it has. Hold on, let me flip the camera here. It will do XLR and USB. So when I'm DJing, it is hooked up to my Rain DJ mixer via XLR. And I also have it plugged into the computer via USB. That's how I'm getting my voice commands to StreamerBot nice and clean with, with no music. Um, yeah. Anyway, there's a curved monitor I got there. I think it's a Samsung. I bought this Acer. This is what I use my uh, for my OBS. Although when I do DJ, I just disable the preview. Um, there's no sense of me looking at it because I have it in front of me. And then also normally when I DJ, I'm gonna fix this right here. Hold on. Go over here. I'll show you how I set it up. So yeah, what I do here is I disable the preview. I bring this up so I can see all my scenes. Uh, then I right click and I do a uh, window projector, which brings up this little window over here. I drag it to that screen over there that's in front of me. And that's how I monitor my stream. <laughs> I see a lot of people open up a browser window and watch it through Twitch, but I don't want to waste the bandwidth. Like it's just, um, anyway, I'm using the rain 12s. Uh, custom vinyl. My mixer is the Rain 72, the one with the touch screen. And you're getting, I think you're getting some of the green screen on it, but yeah, it's green screen in a little bit. Uh, I'm using a mid 2015 MacBook Pro. Yes, they are custom. They're custom uh, aluminum knobs. And then right in front of me, uh, I have um, little an old Logitech cam. That's the one that points on my mixer. I have a little 4.3 screen there. And that's, like I said, that's where I have my, uh, my preview. Then I have all my alerts. And then I have my chat in front of me. How do you flip, how do I flip the messages so the newest message is on top? <laughs> what message is that? Oh, the activity feed. So yeah, if you go into your, um, so actually what you need to do, some people don't do it. Some people put in their, some people just put in their stream key. And um, what you actually need to do is just sign right in to Twitch. Sign right into Twitch through OBS. Um, that way, your OBS is linked right to your Twitch account. <coughs> Once you do that, then you could go up to um, View. And then in the View, you can go to Docs. And then that's where you get all this stuff here. So you can see your, your stream information, your Twitch stats, your Twitch activity, your chat, um, all that stuff. And that way you can actually make your chat dockable right in OBS if you want. I used to do that. It used to sit right in my OBS window, but now I actually just put it to a separate screen. Uh, let's see here, what else am I using? Oh, I just got some uh, Yorkville uh, studio monitors. Yorkville. I don't know if you guys get Yorkville products in the States. I know it is a Canadian company. Um, I don't know if you get Yorkville there or not. Uh, this stand I'm using is called Crane. I don't know if they make these anymore either, but these Crane stands, these laptop stands are fucking built like a tank. I got two of them. 
Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure if you got Yorkville. Uh, and I don't keep any music or anything on my my Mac. Uh, everything here is on a four terabyte um, lacy rugged drive. Uh, knock on wood, these drives are really, really good. I got four of them, um, and none of them have let me down yet. Was saying that I'll probably have a big crash this weekend. But and on the on the Mac, the only thing that's running on the Mac is Serato Serato Video. And I'm running OBS on the Mac, but it's only to grab the Serato video feed and it sends it out via NDI. You can send it out via NDI wirelessly, wirelessly, or you can send it if you got your um, MacBook plugged into your home network, which I do because it's, it's just better that way. Everything, anything you can wire is better. Anyways, that, so the Serato video feed goes out. From OBS via NDI plugin through my home network, and then I bring it in to my OBS on my PC, and that's my PC down there. It's nothing special. Uh, it's a Dell G5 gaming PC. The specs are pretty low. I'd actually like to upgrade the video card. I'm running a 1660 video card. I don't know how in the fuck I'm doing all the shit that I'm doing on this video card, but some reason it's working, but I would definitely like to upgrade it. The new, oh, the newest messages in the chat are on the bottom. I want to make it up to the top. Oh, so you want to flip your chat. So yeah, um, I'm not sure if you can do that or not, but uh, there's a little video card or not video card. Sorry, my bad. Sound card. It's a Yamaha Steinberg. I think the model's a C1. It's it's fairly old. DJ Shadow G gave it to me, and I was like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do with it. And then Twitch came along, and I was like, Oh, okay. So why I have that is, um, I have the sound coming out of my DJ mixer, and it's coming out and going into the back of this. And this is plugged into my computer via uh, USB. And then there's the outputs. The quarter inch outputs are going to my studio monitors here in my studio. <laughs> um, I also have uh, Neewer, N-E-E-W-E-R. Uh, that's an 18 inch ring light. It is Bluetooth enabled, uh, so I can control it via app. I don't control it via app because I'm lazy, but I'm not that lazy. Um, and I have a little thing there. That's usually when you see my iPhone camera, it's usually sitting in that uh, Manfrotto uh, iPhone clip right there. Uh, I also have two newer um key lights there they are battery operated um this is the battery for them but they also can take a power adapter which was not included but i just recently bought two power adapters because i was tired of charging batteries um and then uh let's see here that there is a GoPro Hero 5. It's pretty old. Um, and I have that powered um, by USB into a, a power bar down here. And then it comes out via, I think it's mini HDMI cable to regular size HDMI. And that goes into a little tiny, I don't know if you can see it or not. Um, No, I don't know too much. Anyway, I got one of those little shitty ass uh, $20 capture cards from Amazon. There's just looks like, yeah, it looks like a little thumb drive. That's what that GoPro is plugged into. And again, that's another thing that shouldn't work. But for some reason, it's fucking working. I don't know how it's, it's possible, but it is. Yeah, there's my other crane stand. Um, 
I'm just I use that for my uh, for my iPad. I set my iPad on it. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and there's the. Uh, must be it's probably green screen for you. <laughs> I was gonna show you the green screen panels, but they're green screening. But yeah, anyway. Feel like you're on some good drugs. Oh yeah. Yeah, I try to keep it pretty clean. Um, I'm a little bit of a clean freak by nature, so. Uh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna flip this camera back. Uh, Yorkville, I think Yorkville is out of Toronto. Yorkville is owned by, uh, or the same company, uh, Long and McQuaid. So Long and McQuaid is basically like, I think it's kind of like similar to your guitar centers down in the U S. Um, yeah, so they, that's where I get a lot of, that's where I got my turntables from and, um, and whatnot. I'm going to able preview here because you can't see what I'm looking at. Where we go? There we go. <laughs> yeah, the Yorkville stuff is, is, uh, it's solid. It's rock solid. Um, but I didn't go that route when I bought my, uh, I was going to go Yorkville, but I went, uh, for my stuff when I DJ out, I went with Eevee because I really, I really liked the look of the Eevee. It looked a little more, don't get me wrong. I like the Yorkville, but the Eevee to me looked a little more upscale. It just seemed a little, seemed a little nicer to me. And then at the time, Eevee had three lines. There was like a ELX or EKX. And then there was another one. I went with the middle of the road stuff. Um, and then recently I just bought, uh, right before COVID hit, I bought a couple of Mackie thumps. Um, yeah, something like that. I think, I think there was, e I think there's EK, is there EKX too, or I don't know, whatever it is. I got the middle of the middle of the road one. And I said, I just bought some Mac, a Mackie thumps uh, again. They're not the greatest of sound quality, but. I bought the Mackie thumps because I wanted to start putting other DJs out because I was getting so much. Uh, I was turning away so many people in the run of a year. It was crazy. So I thought I need to put another DJ out working for me. Um, but I didn't want to go top of the line. I just, you know, I didn't want to break the bank. And it's a good thing I didn't because I, I bought extra gear to put a second DJ out and then fucking COVID hit. And now I can't even get myself out the door most times, so. <laughs> which sucks. Um, give me a second. I'm going to end this recording. So, uh, that wraps up our scuff tutorial. I hope there's something in there that, uh, helps you and our scuffed DJ tour. I know some people like to see behind the scenes. I'm one of them. So I hope you enjoyed that too. Peace. Twitch.tv slash DJ 506. Bye.